What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Smoking Android. I am Jared and today we've got something cool for you guys. Um, a little glimpse into the future. Some uh, uh, helpful folks over at XDA, uh, one in particular goes by the name of Rocco Dev, has managed to port over and pull out the .apks from the Motorola Razor ICS. Um, now, I'm not much of a news guy, you know what I mean? Like, I don't look into every single device and when they all re get uh, updates released, so I'm not too sure, but I'm assuming the Motorola Razr has now gotten um, an ICS update or it came with ICS, I don't know. Anyways, I don't have a Razr phone, so I don't particularly look into it. Uh, but apparently he's managed to pull out the home.apk and the launcher2.apk, um, as you can see there. Now, I will be posting a link to this in the description below. Uh, so you can go there and download it and whatnot. But um, I just wanted to point out a couple of things. Um, he's been extremely vague in what things do. There's been a couple of people asking. Um, he's got a couple of different files on here. Now, the first one you'll notice, and this is actually the one that you're going to be downloading. It's home.apk. Okay. Um, you'll be clicking download there, and it'll actually download a file called like home screen or something like that. Uh, anyways, so you'll be downloading it. You're going to want to click here, okay? It's very important you click this uh, where it says download to click here, right there. Um, anyways, moving down the page, there's just some screenshots there. It gives you an idea. And um, obviously what this launcher is, is Motorola's new ICS launcher. Um, so like Moto Blur, if you will. <laughs> but um, anyways, so one of the other versions he posted is launcher2.apk. Um, I haven't been able to get this one. It looks interesting. I wouldn't mind trying. It looks like there might be, uh, you know, an extra widget or something like that. Um, the one, well, I'll get into widgets later on as soon as I show you what it looks like. Um, anyways, so we'll go down here and you'll notice, um, on the left side here where he's got some other, uh, attached files, um, those launcher2.apk and moto at launcher.apk. Uh, I'm just gonna save you guys a lot of time and effort. Um, don't try installing launcher2.apk. Don't try installing moto at launcher.apk. Uh, he seems to think that moto at launcher apk is an actual file when in real uh, when realistically it's 8.4 kilobytes. Okay, so that's I mean like I could open up a Notepad a file, type in hello, and it'll save more than that uh, a larger file. I mean that's exaggerating, but you know what I mean. Um, launch 2.apk, that doesn't work either, it's only 7.7 .7 megabytes, most launchers are around 16 megabytes, so those are kind of dead giveaways to me, but I downloaded and tried to install both of them, and of course they both aborted and install failed, they, they, they aren't real, um, I don't know what he's thinking there, but I hope he watches this video so that he can hurry up and correct it, because I've even asked a question in there and he didn't respond. So anyways, <laughs> aside from all that, end of rant slash... Um, anyway, so you're going to go ahead, like I said, and you're going to download the file from above here, and uh, we'll go ahead and get started. Oh, and plus, you're going to obviously need to have your phone rooted, so if you don't have your phone rooted, this is not going to work, I'm sorry. Um, also, uh, you're going to just, you can either um, use your, uh, oh no, I was going to say you can use your QR code scanner, but he doesn't even have this file available down there for QR code like he does the other two that don't work. Ironic. Anyways, um, so yeah, just throw it on your SD card, and obviously you can download it through your phone if you have the XDA app or you know web browser or whatever. But either way, get the file onto the root of your SD card, and uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at what it looks like um, on your device. All right, so we have it loaded onto our SD card. You've got your phone booted up and everything like that, and obviously it's rooted. Uh, first thing you're gonna want to go to do and make sure if you don't already is um, if you're in ice cream sandwich and again this launcher is only going to work for um, ICS ROMs and I probably should have mentioned that a little bit earlier in the video but this will only work for ICS ROMs because this is an ICS launcher uh, so with that said um, you're gonna want to go into your settings head down to security and in security this is really important you're gonna want to make sure unknown sources is checked if you don't then you're gonna be wondering where to look for it because I know it's in a different position now than it was before in gingerbread ROMs so anyways, uh, make sure unknown sources is checked in security. So we'll go back. And um, as you can see, this is regular signage mod 9 at the moment with the standard trebuchet launcher and all that good stuff. Uh, so what we'll do is go ahead and get into your apps, go to a file manager, whatever one you have will work. And we're going to go ahead and locate the file. And it should 
be near the bottom. Ah, there it is, homescreen.apk. So we'll go ahead and click on that. Um, I've already got it installed, but I'm going to go ahead and do it over again. And it'll just give you the um, permissions and whatnot. Obviously, you want to click on install. It'll take two seconds to install. Three, four, there we go. And you click done. And then from there, you just go ahead and click home. And it probably should have, for you, it'll um, come up with an option for either the Trebuchet launcher or the new home screen launcher. Click, uh, choose as default, click the new home screen launcher, and that will be your new launcher. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, make sure I can turn this on again. All right, so <laughs> I uh, just had to clear the default for Trebuchet. Um, so as you can see, this will be the window you'll pop up with. You'll go ahead and click uh, use by default, click on home screen, and the new one will take just one second to load, and here we are. Now, as you can see, um, right off the bat, the search bar looks, the Google search bar looks a little bit different. Uh, the reason behind that is because if you just go ahead and tap on that, it'll bring up the new, um, it'll bring up all the uh, options and, and whatnot and settings for the uh, f for the launcher. And it's actually called Debug at the moment because it is still a work in progress. They just released it, as far as I know, today or last night, I think. Um, so, anyways, there's a bunch of good stuff in here. Uh, one thing I did want to kind of show you guys, which was really cool. Um, enable workspace uh, swipe animation, 3D effects when swiping the workspace. So going back into the home screen, um, well, first of all, it obviously just jumps right into the uh, overview, and this is the new overview. Um, you can I haven't seen how many home screens it lets you add, but it is quite a few. Um, and of course, all you have to do is just pinch to zoom in. Um, it is also kind of a neat animation too because it uh, goes kind of with your pinch to zoom there. Um, so anyways, going into there and um, clicking on that, you'll notice you can you have the choice of a bl blank panel to add to your home uh, as a home screen or start with a template. Now, if you click on start with template, uh, here's a bit of a glimpse of what is to come. You know, some further widgets and stuff like that that might come with this new sort of Moto Blur launcher. I know they're not using Moto Blur anymore. It's called like Moto Motorola application interface or something like that. But anyways, um, these won't work. None of these. Um, uh, styles or themes or whatever uh, come with the launcher at the moment. It's just not working. So if I was to select one, no items added, blah, 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 blah. So uh, that's not working at the moment. Uh, one thing you will notice down at the bottom is just like uh, Moto Blur before, uh, it does have a, uh, a different sort of applications drawer icon. And obviously clicking on that will reveal your apps. Um, but of course, because uh, custom Motorola, we've got our little drop down menu there. And um, you can customize categories, uh, you know, create new, you can create a different category. So if I wanted to do like, um, you know, media, okay. And then uh, you can select icons, obviously the icons that'll come with the device. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click the folder icon, click okay, it'll ask you what applications you wanna add. So I'm gonna go ahead and click media and let's say uh, gallery. We go ahead and click okay. And we've now created our own media folder. So if I wanted to go back, click on all, it just shows all the applications that are in on the device. Uh, of course, I can go to download it and it'll show me any downloaded applications. And uh, your favorite applications, the ones that you use most often, because I just flashed this wrong, I don't have any, one, uh, any of them loaded up at the moment. Um, and of course, media, where we just created it. Uh, you'll notice in the top right hand corner, there is a little icon there. Um, I'm assuming this is well, you can add to home, so you can add this group, uh, I guess this folder to the home, you can remove some apps from it, sort of a little um, menu, if you will, within this sort of sub uh, folder, I guess, if you will. Uh, but anyways, also, if you'll notice, um, go like that, get back to all, click on this. If I was to click on add to home, it would add the um, applications icon to the home screen, so we're not going to go do that. Um, another thing, if we're scrolling along, moving towards widgets, you'll hear a little clicking noise uh, moving over to the widgets uh, sort of section there. You'll hear it. Oh, there it is. So going back to apps and widgets, kind of makes a different noise. Um, this particular launcher, this uh, version of this launcher, doesn't come with any extra widgets. So don't expect anything in that department there. And also the uh, docking bar is customizable, but you cannot use uh, move the applications if you long press on it. You can't move it anywhere. But if I was to long press on anything else, I can move them wherever else I want. Um, also going back into the applications drawer, say for instance I wanted to add something, uh, one of the icons to the home screen. Um, all I could, I could, uh, what I could do is say for instance uh, gallery. 
long press on it and uh, a couple other bubbles pop up obviously oh, add to the home screen um, or long press on it drop it in there get more options you can add to a group so obviously the group or folder that you've created before you can disable and um, uh, it'll disable now I'm not sure because I only have um, stock apps service apps locate uh, loaded system apps I'm sorry system apps loaded onto the this ROM at the moment um, so I'm not sure what happens when you disable if it's disabling it or like freezing it if you will or if it's actually uninstalling it from the device so that's maybe something that some of you guys can explain to me later on anyways that's basically it guys oh oh yeah the 3d animation so watch this so you've got you know, you've, we, we're all used to this, right, as the um, <clears throat> pain, so the overscroll effect, right, the 3D overscroll effect. But watch what happens when I change home screens now. This is the 3D animation that I was talking about. I was showing you in that uh, the debugging settings option there. So as you can see, it just it's like a whole other window pane, pane of glass sort of shifting along there. So I thought that was really, really sharp. And, um, you know, going, in, and then, of course, if you keep scrolling to the right, it'll take you into the next into this sort of add a panel or um, start with a template screen and you can scroll back over and you're still in your home screens and it's actually really really smooth I've had one force close um, that was going from um, portrait to landscape it does work but you do have to um, uh, enable it in the settings of it and of course if you want to get into the settings you just press the menu button you'll notice an extra one there that says debug that is the settings menu for the um, moto blur launcher whatever we want to call it uh, and this is where you can do all kinds of other stuff some things in here I don't understand but um, you'll have to explore yourself so anyways that is it guys that is um, the moto blur launcher for your device <laughs> uh, it should work on um, non Motorola phones it is an APK so it should work for everybody but uh, if it doesn't work for your device you know don't hold your breath it's it was just released the other day either last night or today so um, be patient but that's it guys basically pretty cool um, those of us with, that do have Motorola phones is kind of uh, a look into the future of, you know the interface of what it's gonna look like um, which I thought was pretty pretty sharp and hopefully um, the developer will start or the guy who ported it will start to uh, give us different revisions so that we can, um, you know, uh, have some widgets and stuff like that. But anyways, guys, that is it for today. Thank you very much for watching. I am Jared as usual, and this is the Smoking Android. Uh, if you liked the video, make sure you give us a thumbs up. Hopefully it helped you out and you can customize your Android device a little bit further. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. It's very important you do because we have awesome videos. Cha-cha! But that's it. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, guys, the Smoking Android signing out. See you guys later.